Hi there. Well, welcome to the Air National Guard's 146th Fighter Interceptor Wing, stationed here at Van Nuys, California. We're here to meet the best friend the Air Force ever had. As a matter of fact, a good friend of each and every one of us. His name is Sierra Sam. His occupation? A professional accident victim. Not just a dummy, mind you, but a synthetic man created for the sole purpose of saving human lives. Now, according to this request from Hal Baumgarten of Hackensack, New Jersey, Sierra Sam is a human stand-in who thrives on automobile crashes, bomb explosions, and supersonic Air Force seat ejections. So not only would I like to see this instrument-loaded dummy in action, but also I'd love to see it engineered into a human likeness with all its weaknesses and characteristics. Well, now, because you asked for it, let's pay a visit to the Sierra Engineering Company in Sierra Madre, California, and meet Sierra Sam in the flesh. This is Jack Moyle speaking for You Ask For It. In what seems to be a horror movie prop shop, Sierra Sam's aluminum skull is prepared for a coating of soft, flesh-like foam rubber. Into the cast iron mold it goes. Next, the liquid rubber, looking very much like pink pancake batter, is mixed to a fine consistency. One scoop of the pot and Sam's healthy complexion is on the way. Then into a 200 degree oven for baking. Two hours later, Sam makes a sparkling reappearance. Handsome, fearless, and very much interested in finding the rest of his body. And the answer to this lies in another part of the plant. Here, precision craftsmen are fashioning Sam's skeleton. In this case, a network of steel. Head, chest, and leg cavities are carefully planned to accommodate instruments designed to record the forces that will soon batter this human stand-in. For within Sam's rugged framework lie the answers that will someday save the lives of pilots, automobile drivers, and city populations faced with atomic attack. Here in the custom fitting room, Sam becomes the complete man. Actually, he's a handsome cuss who comes in different sizes and shapes according to the needs of each research project. Our friend here happens to be the average American man. He's five foot nine and weighs 161 pounds in his uh, bare foam rubber. He's being prepared for a special experimental run at Hurricane Mesa in Utah, where the Air Force is conducting pilot ejection tests at supersonic speeds. A twin brother is also earmarked for a shipping box He's headed for the traffic engineers at UCLA, where he'll find himself being hurtled into solid walls in the interests of future highway safety. And like hundreds of other anthropomorphic dummies produced here at the Sierra Engineering Company, the two Sams are prepared to go forth and die many times over. At UCLA, where they go and what they do is quite a story. So let's start off with a visit to the San Fernando Proving Grounds of UCLA's Traffic Engineering Department. A well-planned collision is about to get underway. Three dummies have already been adjusted to provide a human reaction to the forces of collision. And only one has the luxury of a safety belt. The fixed cameras are ready. Dead ahead, an immovable barrier. And here we go. The speed is carefully controlled for impact at 25 miles per hour. Now, in slow motion. Here's a stop action view. Remember, only 25 miles an hour. The passenger in the safety belt survives. Instruments show all others to be dead. Next, a complete medical examination. But fortunately for motorists of the future, life begins for Sierra Sam where it would end for most human beings. 
Our next stop, the Nevada site of an atomic bomb test. The purpose? To record the effects of an atomic blast on a city's population. In earlier tests, such as this one, mannequins and a few anthropomorphic dummies were used to test various means of protection. They were strategically placed with varying degrees of shielding for exposure to the initial shock wave and to radiation. All is in readiness. Some dummies standing in for our more careless citizens will be caught totally unawares. stop is Hurricane Mesa, Utah, where Air Force personnel and members of the Coleman engineering team of Torrance, California, are preparing Sam for a special You Asked For It experimental run. This is Project Smart. 12,000 feet of track, and on it set to go, a rocket sled built to the cockpit specifications of the Lockheed F-94C. Into the cockpit goes Sierra Sam. In a few seconds, he'll be rocketed down the track at over 1,000 miles per hour and ejected into the air, just like a pilot flying faster than the speed of sound. How did his arms flail? How did his legs twist? Did he clear the tail assembly safely? Down Sam comes with many of the answers. On this run, Sam cleared the cockpit all right, but his rigging and clothing were nearly torn off his back by the terrific air blast. All details were photographed by high-speed cameras from every conceivable vantage point, even the pilot's point of view. So let's go back and take another look at the action in ultra-slow motion. Time after time, Sam volunteers his life away. And while he's being rebuilt to face death again, other Sierra Sands are filling the breach, giving their lives that we might live. You asked for it.